Hello, Ray Phoenix here. Welcome to Let's Play Ape Escape Free Part 29. So now we're finally going to back to Spectre Space Station, which I'm pretty sure it got destroyed the first time we went here, but somehow it's still back here in space, where there's still these filming shows here, so we're gonna, and movies here. So we're going to go to wherever they're filming the Planet of the Apes parody, and we're going to go there and capture the remaining monkeys. Guess where the hidden monkey section is? Then after we get those last few monkeys that are in this level, then we could go and take on Spectre. We have our odd monkeys left in this level, too. But once we get all them, we could go take on Spectre, defeat Spectre, capture him, and then have him permanently sent to the Monkey Park. See, the Monkey Park is not a good place to keep him anymore, considering what he's done. We should keep him in a high, secure prison somewhere. Maybe he was in a high, secure prison after Ape Escape too. Maybe that's where Dr. Tomoki found him. You know, if he goes to prison, people escape from prisons all the time. I see pressy people in prison uniforms walking down my street all the time. People have most likely escaped prison, so... So I guess sometimes prison might even be easier to escape than the monkey park. Maybe they should just keep him in the monkey park, and maybe they should send some of the worst criminals in the world to the monkey park. Then we'd have less prison outbreaks and things like that, like prison or like like prison stuff. You know, like when people break out of prison or there's there's riots and then 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 and then results in all. Like I have a DVD. I have a, I have a DVD of X too. But I'm pretty sure I got. In a, I'm pretty sure I bought it at the Salvation Army. But I'm pretty sure it came from a prison riot, considering the fact the case looks all broken and beat up and smashed up every and then all smashed up it was one of those stronger plastic cases do you remember back when dvd cases were actually stronger before they used those flimsy cases which is what those cheap flimsy cases that they use now that used to use strong cases and so we could do this puzzle again that involves pushing these boxes around and then we could bring the rc card to that button switch over there it's not going to make us fight all these enemies again to open up the case open up the bars as we had to do the first time around and this is where the hidden section is or use a super monkey to find the hidden section yep here's the hidden section it's a really big level you can spend hours searching this level for the hidden section and if you do the level in the order you're intended if you play for this level again in the order you're intended to play through in the first time around and use a super monkey for out you're gonna find this pretty easy to get early, pretty early on actually well it's closer to the game the level so i guess that was a the game developers, the people who made this game, that's them being nice to us again. They actually are quite forgiving in this game. They could have put it at the end of the level, like what they do, they quit what they've done in a lot of other levels in this game, and make us go all the way through the level again, just so we could find those that, those last four measly monkeys that are keeping us away from defeating Spectre. That actually is a slight inconsistency in this game, and sometimes it makes us play for whole levels all over again, and yet sometimes the monkeys are like located in a spot where, could e where you could easily get to them again, or, or like in that Titan well, we can easily warp to the end of the level and find them there. There's a slight inconsistency in this game on the developer's part, but I think it still works out pretty good. This game is a lot of fun, don't get me wrong, this is a really good game. I do, I do think this game is way better than a lot of other critically acclaimed games. This game is way better than the original Crash Bandicoot. It's way better than Earthbound. I don't like Earthbound. I think Earthbound is a very overrated game, but yeah, but this game is way better than Earthbound. So it's, a, it's in every way possible. It's better than Earthbound. This game is better than a lot of Mario games. I actually like this game more than Mario 64. It's better than Mario Sunshine. Oh, it's definitely way better than Super Mario Sunshine and Super Mario 64. This game has really good camera angles overall. The controls always work well. There's no BS moments. Well, there aren't really that many BS moments in this game, which is good. And this game is also a lot better than, what else? It's, this game is better than Zelda games. Some people compare this to Zelda because of this game is Zelda. It's thinking of gadgets. kind of works similar to the items in Zelda. And there are, there's a few, like, vague similarities between Ape Escape and Zelda, but that's about it. They're about as, they're, they have about as much as common uh, in common as Grudge Warriors has with Twisted Metal. They're not, they don't really, this game is really that much in common with Zelda. However, I did recommend this game to Terry Garrett, the guy that beat, the, the blind gamer that beat Legend of Zelda, Ocarina of Time, and, and Legend of Zelda Majora's Mask beat that one too, apparently. I, I, I recommended these Ape Escape games. I don't know if it would be possible for him to play these or not, but I definitely would like to see him try at least. I doubt he'll ever do that though, but yeah, I would like to see that eventually. And then so they could, you could drive, we have to drive this RC car through this. We have to drive this RC car through this intricate, it's not really that intricate, but there's also a part where there's, where there's a spinning, what do you call it, like a spinning starfish or Spongebob's best friend spinning around. They probably took Patrick in that Spongebob movie and they dried him off and the inspector used him as a, as like a, this as like a decoration or something that dried up, dried up Patrick. I wonder, I wonder what's, I wonder how, I wonder if Sponge, what, how Spongebob and Patrick could be affected by 
by Spectre's plans. By Spectre's plans or world domination. Is he gonna send monkeys under the sea eventually? Well, it looks like he this movie that he's in this this several thousand leagues under the sea movie, I think, is what's being filmed here. I think it was implying that Spectre had plans to eventually conquer what's under the sea. And we know he already had plans to rewrite history, hence the Plan of the Apes parody. Or he wants to rewrite history since so like the world was ruled by monkeys and the Statue of Liberty looks like a monkey. It almost looks like that Statue of Liberty from the beginning of Ape Escape 2, the Liberty Island level. Or if it's the same one, maybe he was applying something there. Counting on both of us, even though one of us is actually going to fight against Spectre, and it's going to be us. It's going to be K. He's going to fight against Spectre and be the real hero of this game. Spectre Wars 2, the monkey straight back. Yeah, obviously, they, they always have to shoehorn as many parodies as possible to this game. So they shoehorn a parody of the most famous sci-fi movie ever. Just as you see, I give up. You've beaten me. I am surrendering. Well, all right then. Well, come on, come on. Arrest me. Take me in. Well, okay then. Huh? Hang on a second, fool! <laughs> I got you. I got you. So how does it feel to be captured yourselves? You tricked us. Tricked you? Oh, come on now. It's called strategy. Strategy. Didn't I tell you that I'm much smarter than before? <laughs> oh, I do love comebacks. If you're smarter than you were before, then why would you trap us in these glass tubes could easily be broken by swinging our stun clubs around. You should have made it stun club resistant. But there are other things, materials in this game that are clearly stun club resistant. Why couldn't you have made those, those capturing tubes out of them? Actually, I lied. Yeah, I need to be a really big fool to fall for something like that. This is playing an epic remix of Spectre's theme from Ape Escape 1. While we go to fight Spectre in this la the last true time, we'll be fighting Spectre in Ape Escape 3. He's flying around, he's supposedly smarter, but despite that, he's just doing a lot of the same stuff we saw him do in the previous games. He's gonna try to smash us and crush us, he's gonna send like magic after us and stuff like that. Stuff that he did in the first two games, but we defeated in the first two games easy and he did all the magical stuff, so surely he's not gonna be any more challenging. He's gonna use like Dragon Balls. He's gonna go. He's gonna look like an Ape Escape too when he started going Super Cyan on us or stuff like that. He started doing like Dragon Ball Z moves on us, and we could just shock him easy. Just just blast him with the with the Cyber Ace. We just chuck fly around like we're freaking Iron Man or something like that. An electrified Iron Man. Oh, like Iron Man mixed with a Lech Man from Mega Man One. Just fly around. Sure, he has a shield. The shield only lasts for so long. The shield's gonna gonna power down after a while, so we could give him a good hit. And look at this. He's being nice to us. He's giving us more energy for our morph here. Yes, Spectre really isn't the most compassionate villains I've ever seen before. It's like he wants you to beat him almost. I kept getting that idea for Ape Escape 1 and 2, and yeah, Ape Escape 3 kind of confirms it. Spectre is a wuss, and that's probably why there haven't been any Ape Escape games since then. Don't destroy him easy. He's supposed to be smarter than ever before. This is actually the easiest Spectre boss I've ever done in any Ape Escape game ever. Seriously, this is a pretty dang easy battle. The easiest Ape Escape final boss I've ever seen ever. And yet, he's supposed to be smarter than before. I guess the smarter he gets, the weaker he gets. So now the game is finally completed. We captured all the monkeys in the game, captured Spectre, his plan has been completely foiled now, and the world is safe yet again. The whole world is safe from Spectre, and we're the heroes. We're, we are in here with the heroes. We are victorious against Spectre. So the ending there kind of had, kind of had like a bit of a throwback or like a 
homage or like a nod to the original Ape Escape in the, in the special ending when it's like, come on guys, we want to, guys, we'll be late and we have to run off and go see Spectre at the Monkey Park or something like that for some sort of show or something like that. They're doing it again, trying to keep a tradition alive. Well, it's not really a tradition. I mean, Ape Escape 1 did it and Ape Escape 2 kind of forgot about it and Ape Escape 3 brought it back. And so it's showing the credits instead of showing like, like we already saw the so they did, they, they're, they're doing different credits this time around. They're not rehashing the exact same credits again like what they did in Ape Escape 2. This time around, we're actually, just like in Ape Escape 1, said something different, only it's not exactly plot this time around. It's just showing scenes from the game, like scenes of stuff that already happened in the game. Well, it shows the ending credits, kind of like what, Ape, what Jumping Flash, the original Jumping Flash did, where it shows scenes from the game while it shows the ending. I don't know, maybe they took some inspiration from Jumping Flash in that part, that would be good. It's playing the same music as it did the first time around, which is it's still pretty good music. It's better than the Ape Escape 2 ending music. The Ape Escape 2 ending music didn't really sound like ending music at all. It just sounds like music like you kind of got screwed over, or something good, or something that's good and bad happened at the same time, or you didn't get exactly, or, or things didn't, or, or, you know, it's kind of like that. It kind of has that, like, it's not good, not bad kind of ending, or not everything all is all perfect or something like that kind of ending as that kind of they escape two ending music had that vibe to it this vibe but this music makes it seem kind of eerie and like ooh, like ooh, like eerie and but then again music like that was kind of big at the time this game was made i used to hear music like that a lot in this game was around that time so spectre tv since 2005 i guess spectre used that time travel machine from the first game to go back a year before this game happened and made spectre tv because i'm pretty sure at the game this game it said since 2006 and this game is supposedly set in the year 2006 but yeah right there it says since 2005 did spectre use time travel like in the first game to change the past I don't know. And so this concludes this Let's Play of Ape Escape Free, a legendary classic that everyone deserves to play at least once in their life. This is Ray Phoenix, signing out.